coming up on this episode of Design to the Nines, I've designed a beautiful Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving tablescape. It looks expensive, but it's not. So if that sounds good to you, stay tuned. Welcome to Design to the Nines. I'm Natalie Callahan, and if this is the first time we're meeting, welcome to my channel. If you enjoy videos about DIY and home decor, then you are in the right place, and I would invite you to subscribe to my channel below and turn the bell notifications on because I bring you weekly tutorials that I hope you will join me for. This week's episode is in collaboration with Heidi Sonbol of Happily Thriving Heidi, and it is a fall table decor collaboration with several other talented and amazing women. So after you're through watching my episode, I'd invite you to pop on over to Heidi's channel, check it out, and then check out all of the fall table decor inspiration you can handle on the playlist. So I'll provide all of the links for everything in the description box below. Last year, I did a poolside Thanksgiving tablescape. It was amazing to have Thanksgiving poolside, especially after years and years of having very cold weather. So this year it is going to be indoors. And while I would love to have a formal dining room in my house, my home does not have one. And you know what? I figure a lot of people are in the same situation. So I'm just gonna roll with it. Now I love tablescaping. It is so much fun for me to create a beautiful environment to share a special meal with my family and friends. And so today I'm gonna be doing a Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving table. We live away from family, so we may or may not be able to have family with us every Thanksgiving. I realize a lot of other people are probably in that situation as well. So we'll call this a Friendsgiving. It could also be a Thanksgiving. It works for both, to be honest with you. So I'm really excited about it because I've got a lot of fun things planned for you. So let's get started. So if you have seen any of my tablescapes, you know this is the part where I usually put out a nice white tablecloth and then I roll some wrapping paper and do a runner. Well, we're doing things different this time and so this time I am leaving the wood table exposed. It's beautiful and I think it will add to our tablescape. Next time I'll probably break out the tablecloth, but this time we're shaking things up. I wanted to do a whole bunch of greenery on my table, but I wanted to protect the wood a little bit from all of that greenery. I already had this white contact paper on hand that I used in my chandelier makeover. If you haven't seen that episode, I highly recommend it. So this is free. It's gonna work for what we're doing. So I'm just gonna roll it out. And this is really just to kind of protect my table as well just add a little pop of color and contrast. All right, <laughs> I got my hands full here. So I have this beautiful basket that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just gonna put that in the center of my table. Make sure that the runner is straight. And this is just to add some texture, and because it's Thanksgiving, it kind of gives that bountiful basket feel. Now, I have a giant assortment of greenery. Now some of this is silk and some of it is real. The magnolia leaves are real. You don't have to use silk. I just went around my house and gathered up all the greenery that I hadn't done anything with yet. Go outside and collect a whole assortment of greenery. Fresh is awesome. I just got these magnolia in my neighborhood and I just love magnolia. And we're just gonna mix it all together and just create a nice bedding of greenery. But before we put our greenery in, I am going to take our magnolia dupe cake stand and I'm going to just place this on the center. You'll see what I'm going to put on it in a second, but at least we'll have that set and we can kind of build from there. Thank you. 
This is looking really good. I'm really happy with it. Mixing in a ton of greenery, it just creates a softness that's beautiful and inviting. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep going until I use all of the greenery. I think we're about done with this part. I'm just gonna do a little cleanup from all of our clippings and then we're gonna move to the next step. I am really happy with our foundation here. It's lush, it's green, it's so interesting to look at, but now we need to kind of bring it into the fall decor realm. And we are gonna do that by adding some pumpkins. So I picked these pumpkins up at Walmart and then I just painted them out with chalk paint and added a little dimension in the crevices. They are so beautiful and I am not exactly sure how we're gonna do them but I think we are gonna just play around a little bit and see how we like it. So I might put these ones on the ends here, this one, and then I have a whole bunch of tiny pumpkins that we're gonna add. Um, an assortment of new ones as well as old ones from last year. So, and that's what you can do is you collect over time and then you can create a beautiful tablescape. Just nestle them in wherever you see a little spot and just add it till you think it looks good. Now these little guys are from the Target dollar spot last year. They match my chair. So we're gonna tuck a few of them in. We've got to balance it out, so make sure you don't forget the back. We're not doing this part this time. That'll be next week, so make sure you stay tuned for that because it's going to coordinate with what we've got going on here, and there will be some interactive elements that you're not going to want to miss, so stay tuned for that. These are some DIY hurricanes. All I did was take some Dollar Tree vases, and I glued them to a tea light, and so it's very elegant looking. And we are just gonna nestle those in right here and then we're gonna add something to them and I'll show you what in just a second here. Because we are staying with the mostly neutral green theme, I have these bag of dried split peas and we are just gonna open those up and pour them in our DIY hurricanes. And then we're gonna just stick in one of our Dollar Tree candles and kind of just push it down in there. Now it's time to set our table and I'm gonna start out with my chalkboard chargers that I used on last year's Thanksgiving table. Now I know that I have navy blue in here but it's just an accent and I think it's gonna help our appetizer plates really pop. And so it's okay to put the black with the blue. I'm gonna give you permission. <laughs> so we'll just set that now. And we're setting our table for six because I still haven't found the right captain's chairs yet. That is on my wish list and maybe I'll find the perfect one and you'll see them next time. I'm all about a white plate. So we're just using our everyday white plate and it, we're gonna dress it up with some other elements. I forgot to add my placemats. They're gonna look adorable and I cannot believe I forgot them. To balance out all the green that we've got going on, and I do have some navy blue on my chair so I didn't wanna go too overboard, I found this adorable navy blue and white buffalo check plaid at Hobby Lobby and I just made up some napkins. I like to do this because buying fabric napkins are really expensive so making them are so easy if you're interested in seeing how i go about making my fabric napkins i'm going to link that episode above and below as well and you will see just how easy it is so we're going to place these napkins now and i fold mine in thirds and i'm going to let them hang off the edge of the table a little bit and i just go up to the top of the plate and let it hang down Seriously, making fabric napkins, it like took me less than 20 minutes and it just feels more elegant and more formal. I love it. And now for what I consider kind of the piece de resistance. These were featured in my last episode. However, I made them in gray on my last episode for the sake of the dupe, but on our Thanksgiving table to and to pull the black of the chargers and I really wanted them to pop. So I went with black on these ones, but these are DIY plates that are so cute. They say thankful and grateful, very inexpensive at $2 a plate. 
Now, if you don't wanna make some, there's some similar ones at Walmart and they're cute. I just really like these and they make a great gift for your guests and a great conversation starter. So we're gonna place these. And you just rotate every other one. Now it's time to add our stemware. And this glass will pull in our hurricanes and add a little shine. So for our final element of our tablescape, I have these interactive name cards and we are just gonna set them on the upper edge of the plate. And if you wanna see how I made these as well as see the interactive feature of these name cards, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for next week. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well as a few other things back here that's gonna coordinate and look awesome. So stay tuned for that. That's it, our fall tablescape is done. This would be perfect for your Thanksgiving dinner or a Friendsgiving dinner, depending on your situation. And I just love it. There's a lot of things going on and you don't have to spend a lot of money. The placemats were $2, the chargers were a dollar in a DIY that I did last year. Make sure you check the description box because there is gonna be a ton of resources for you in recreating this look. Everything on this table is totally affordable. It looks expensive, it looks luxurious, but really you can recreate this look for not very much. Did you like this look? Let me know by hitting the like button below and tell me what your favorite element was in the comment section below. Would you have changed anything? I'm thrilled with this look. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Heidi for inviting me to participate in this collaboration. And if you enjoyed this episode, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it and I will see you next week. Bye.